This section is called testing a standard deviation because we've talked about standard deviations more often than variances, but we don't actually ever test the standard deviation. We're actually going to test the variance. And when we test the variance, we'll go through the same six step process that we've always gone through for hypothesis test. The main difference is when we get to the test statistic calculation. The test statistic calculation for variance is going to be a chi-squared statistic, which is calculated by taking the sample size minus 1. And then we multiply by the variance of the sample, and we divide by the variance of the population. Also, if we need to know the degrees of freedom, the degrees of freedom is always the sample size minus 1. And this leads to an important note. You might have noticed that I said variance, but I wrote s squared or sigma squared variance which is represented with sigma squared or s squared, variance is the square of the standard deviation, which is just sigma or s. So for example, if the standard deviation is 5, the variance would be 5 squared or 25. We can also go the other way. If the variance is 36, the standard deviation is the square root, or just 6. With that in mind, then, we should be able to test a standard deviation by making the adjustment to variance and running the variance test as a chi-squared distribution hypothesis test with the same six steps that we always used. Let's say the post office found that the standard deviation on wait times for their line is 7.2 minutes. Then they decided to use a new service method. Using this new service method, 25 customers were tested. And of those 25 customers, the standard deviation on wait time was 3.5 minutes. We want to know at the alpha equals 0.05 level, did the new method reduce the standard deviation in wait time. Well, let's take a look at it using the same six steps we always use. First, for the hypotheses, our null hypothesis is about the variance. It's that the variance is equal to that claimed value, that original value. The problem is with variance, we have the standard deviation. So we're going to have to take that 7.2 standard deviation and square it. 7.2 squared is now a variance at 51.84. And for the alternate hypothesis, what we're trying to prove is that standard deviation has reduced. So it's now less than 51.84. If we draw a picture of what we're looking at, here's our chi-squared distribution. We want the left tail. So we'll keep that in mind as we go to Excel to calculate the p-value. But first, we need to calculate the test statistic. And the test statistic is chi-squared equals n minus 1 times the sample variance, or standard deviation squared, divided by the population variance, or standard deviation squared. So in our case, the sample size was 25 minus 1. S stands for the sample. We did a sample of 25 customers, and their standard deviation was 3.5. We need to square that to make it a variance. In the denominator, the standard deviation of the population is 7.2, and we're going to square that. 
Doing this on the calculator, I get 5.67, which leads us to a p-value calculation where we can say equals a chi squared dot distribution. We want the left tail, so we'll put the test statistic of 5.67, comma, the degrees of freedom. One less than the sample size is 24, comma, and we always need to say true. And when we do, it might be in scientific notation on your Excel sheet. Remember that E means the decimal point moves to the left that many places. It's going to be 0 0.00004204, a very small p-value which leads to the decision with that p-value being much smaller than the alpha. The p-value was 0 0.00004204. The alpha was 0 0.05 level. So our p-value is, in fact, smaller. And a small p-value means we're allowed to reject the null hypothesis. We were successful in rejecting. We have successfully achieved the alternative hypothesis. So our interpretation, which always focuses on the alternative hypothesis, which we successfully showed, so we will say there is significant evidence at the alpha equals 0.05 level that sigma squared is less than 51.84. Putting that in context, that the standard deviation of wait time went down using the new service method. And so using the exact same six steps we've always used, we can conduct the hypothesis step for a standard deviation, where we actually conduct the hypothesis test for a variance. We convert the standard deviation to a variance by squaring it, and we can run our hypothesis test using that chi-squared distribution.